It is the Raw Wrap-Up of Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Here in the Beachview-based Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA Live. On the Facebook Live. With me is our man from Poughkeepsie, New York. The only one on the crew with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. It is Mad Mike. Hi, Sorgelstein. How are you today? I'm all right. I am fully watched of Raw. And you are less watched of Raw tonight. Um, yeah, I, I was going to be fully caught up this week with Raw, except circumstances beyond my control, i.e. parents having, uh, being shitty parents and letting their kids run wild in Toy Stores. <laughs> so not, not your parents, other people's parents, apparently. Not so, my parents. Yes. No, no. My parents were not shitty parents. They would, they did not let me run wild in Toy Stores. No. Other people are shitty parents. No, no, of course. Uh, but anyway, this is the show where we watch Raw, or well, we have watched Raw typically, and we talk about it and we wrap it up for you guys and get some thoughts uh, and hopefully get some interactions throughout uh, the evening here. Uh, of course, we are live on the Facebook Live. You can follow the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook Live. And check out all the rest of the shows on WrestlingMayhemShow.com and subscribe to the Raw Wrap-Up or the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh uh, master feed or the Sargatron Media Master Feed, all on your iTunes in Podcatcher of choice. Uh, so, Mike, let's let's just get into our, you know not not, not Raw as a whole because um, your watchable tops out at a half hour that you did see of Raw. But well, uh, you want to know how much of that half hour is watchable, Sorg? <laughs> how much? Was, it was the last half hour, correct? Zip zero. Oh no! Oh no! So, the, what did you get to see? What do let's let's, um, let's just break I, this down. Yeah, no, I came, I came in uh, basically right at the start of the Jason Jordan Finn Balor match. Okay, not a and, great, not, not, not a great part part to start. And immediately, I had questions. <laughs> um, the first question: When did Jason Jordan become a heel? Uh, we've been kind of going that way. I thought. Have we? He was just teaming with the Hardys last night. Yeah, but we've been granted not, even... not that anyone saw that. Because right. That match was so early. Right, right. We'll, we'll, we'll touch on that too. Um, no, I, I think they've been playing this idea of him, like this whole nepotism thing, so nobody but, likes him. But here's the thing: he's never gotten anything because Kurt's his dad. Uh, he, he has not had a single title match. No, but he has not had a win. Except against jobbers. This is true, too. Uh... No, no. See, they want the story to be nepotism, but they haven't fucking done nepotism. Okay. Here's, here's how you do that. On his first night on Raw, you give him an Eric Hotnell title match with The Miz, and he gets a surprise win. Mm. That's how you do nepotism. Then The Miz can say... You have been on Raw for a hot minute. You did not earn your Intercontinental title match. You got lucky when you beat me, and the only reason you got that match was because your general, your father's the general manager. But no, they just decided, let's do nepotism without doing nepotism. I well, what well, yeah, but they brought him over to Raw. They he's been putting him against some like wonky competition. And, so and, what? And, and and he and he and he stepped up to Daddy Curtin and said, uh, "You know, I think I want to face Finn Balor." It's like, yeah, you can face Finn Balor, and he got his ass kicked. Yep. What's the point? He's literally had the exact same matches that Elias Samson has had. No, oh, you will not yeah. compare him. No, you will not compare him to Elias Samson. What, what I'm saying is Elias has had matches against jobbers. Yes, I'm counting our truth as a jobber. Oh, and he's had oh. matches against Finn Balor. Listen, what, the one thing and you did not... And he's had run-ins with The Miz. No. It's literally been the same people he's interacted no, with. No, the one thing you did not see was the fact that Elias Samson is having a rock versus rap battle with uh, uh, R-Truth. And I'm waiting for the cover of Rap is Crap. Um, all I want is Aiden English to be Elias's front man. Yes, that as well. That as well. Um, and and, and I'm, I'm, I've been amazed at how much time they give Elias, especially what they gave him last night on, on uh, uh, the pre-show and everything. Um, and and again tonight, like they've been really investing in him. 
yeah, but I, I don't, I don't know. So much about Raw frustrates me. Well, he's he's had some. He's he he had a mini feud with Finn Balor. Looked pretty uh, good in it, and now he's stepping back, and they're they're putting him against guys like R Truth for a while for set up for whatever's coming next. So they're pushing him back down after winning his feud of oh, Finn Balor. Oh, it's cyclical. It's cyclical. No, but. Uh, Everybody has to step back so they can rise up again. Look at Jinder yeah, Mahal. But, you, but if you just got to Raw, you shouldn't already be taking steps back. You know who should take a fucking step back? John Cena. Roman Reigns should take a step back. Literally all of the Shield should take a step back. I'm it's, serious. Well, isn't isn't Roman... Oh, wait, wait, then I, now we're getting into a booking show, but still... And 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 rather not you know do this armchair booking thing, but but you know Cena's so Cena slides over and he's he's setting up this thing with Roman, Braun's getting uh, uh, uh Brock, which only makes sense after last night. Yeah, that's the only good thing to come out of this if Braun wins. Mm-hmm. If Braun doesn't win, then they're just killing time until WrestleMania. You know, Mike, I don't care who wins. I do because I want to see a champion on the weekly show. That's what I want to see, Sorg. It's not too much to ask. I don't care. I don't care. We have so many other champions on there. That's no, we don't. Miz, when was the last time Miz defended his title? I'll wait. Yeah, that's a problem. And actually, got I'll caught wait. up. And actually, despite that, he's been doing some great stuff. Um, he was on fire tonight. He had a talking smack level. Uh, promo with uh, 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 Cena and and Roman Reigns, and even called out how many yeah. people he was and, wrestling and, and, against last night. And if you have booked this version of the Miz at any other point in the history of the Miz, he should be world champion right now instead mm-hmm. of having it on some fucking part timer. I don't care how big of an attraction Brock Lesnar is; he's still a big of an attraction without the damn title. This is true, but they're putting money on them. They're they're putting they're putting their faith in them, and 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 oh, it and, makes and the they've money. been rewarded by fans throwing beach balls in the crowd for every single show Brock is on. Wait, when was this? Last night and tonight. During, during his segments. It doesn't matter during his shows because they know Raw isn't important. I don't think that's what translates here. I think that is because I'll tell you what. There was no fucking beach balls during TakeOver. Okay. Because they know every match means something. On Raw, your main event does not have your world champion. Yeah, but it's Raw. The main event of ever at NXT doesn't have a world champion. Yeah, and the fucking full sale crowd is horrible. <laughs> Anyways, apples and oranges. Um, We did get uh, uh, Samoa Joe's on fire. He teaming with the Miz against uh, uh, Roman and Cena. I'm sure you didn't like that tag match. No, because Roman and Cena went over. Shocker, shocker, shocker. Mm-hmm. No, I, I'm sorry. Cena's Cena's wrestling like it's 2008 when it was when he was the shitty Cena and we all hated him. Can't he just go fuck Bumblebee or something right now? <laughs> I think can't we a- just get? Can't yeah. we just fast forward to that? Maybe maybe this is the last instance of that. Um, um, maybe, maybe he's off for a while after this. <laughs> That's adorable that you think that it is, Sork. That's adorable. Right, he's gonna he's gotta go film that thing sometime, right? Yeah, but unless Roman's the one to send them packing, which it should have been Baron Corbin. Mm-hmm. But I digress. I digress. Anyways, um. I mean, I, I saw a big cast got injured tonight, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that, and that, that is the biggest thing. They had a Brooklyn Street fight with uh, Enzo and Cass, and uh, he, he got injured going over the rope and just kind of landed bad on the outside. And they, they just cut the match off and, and awarded to Enzo, which is unfortunate. And they were, I thought they were doing good with that match, too. Um, well, that's probably the match that they should have had last night. Yeah, instead maybe a of, little bit. Oh, come on. Instead oh, of, instead of, no, no. Oh, instead of Enzo blatantly stealing Joey Ryan's gimmick? Yeah. <laughs> is that what yeah, that was? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, 
I would have I would have preferred a Brooklyn Street fight where guess what? Big Show can interfere at SummerSlam. Oh. And you still get that interaction. I love it. Either way, it, as weird as that match was, that was an interesting moment that I probably won't forget. You know, at least it wasn't like the same Stark Shark Cage uh, shenanigans that we've seen in in, in past uh in, in the past year with these guys, right? Eh, it was worse. It was worse. <laughs> it was worse. I give him credit for something different. Um. Anyways, also from tonight, I thought we had, we had a eight man tag for the cruiserweights. I thought a very good one. I'm sure the match was fine. I didn't get to see it yet, but again, what's the point? Show up. What the is cruiserweights? the They're using the no, cruiserweights. No, it doesn't work. No one watches 205 live. How long was the match, Sorg? Was it more than 10 minutes? I bet it wasn't. Actually, it was. It went through a commercial break. That doesn't mean it was longer than 10 minutes. Oh. Where do I where do I find times? They don't put it on the website. Yeah, that doesn't mean it was longer than ten minutes. But still, they gave it they gave it two segments, and I, it was it was a great hard hitting match. There was a lot of good stuff in there that that showed off the cruiserweights. They're showing the cruiserweights like they did in WCW, where they're then the no, they're co- not because if they were doing that like they did in WCW, they'd open the show every week. Mm. They'd, they'd open the show every week with a hot 20 man match. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They didn't open the show every week. That was the, that was the they're 9 always o'clock. The, they were the, always the first match. There was the 9 o'clock hour it, it, when they were trying to do something um, that got people's attention leading into Raw. Okay. They're always the first match. That's exactly what how they said it on the Monday Night Wars when they were talking about why the cruiserweights were a thing. So Okay. Um, other than that, like I said, I thought there was a lot of good stuff. Uh, Nia Jax squashing Emma, although it was great that, uh, that's not a, that's not a good thing. No, no, no. Here's the good thing that, that, that did happen. Uh, the top five trending things tonight was, uh, hashtag give Emma CPR. Oh God. That's something tells me that, that there were a lot of horrible tweets that were accompanied by that. There might've been, there actually might've been, um, Dean and Seth against the Hardy boys. Are they broken yet? Yeah, they're getting more brokener. So, no. They're never going to be broken, and they're just going to be the boring mutton Jeff. It's been a weird crossover. And next week in Nashville, you get Alexa, Bish, Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks. I thought it was Memphis. Mm, Memphis? Yeah, they said Memphis. Something Tennessee. Oh, they, yeah, okay. they, they did say hometown of uh, Jerry Lawler there. So yeah. um, Okay, well, that, that should be a fun rematch. That means nothing. Man, um, do we need to get Road Dog to tell you fuck off too? Just like we did, um, um, Mr. Uh, Brother Love out there. I'm fine. More people watch our show than watch Brother Loves anyway. <laughs> Take that impact. Um, hot start. Crowd was on top of things. There was a way. Yeah, of- like hey, no, the, oh, honestly, Bron. Braun's, it's like they put all the writers into Braun Strowman's storyline, and the rest they did Mad Libs. Am I wrong? Well, you didn't watch it, for one thing, to actually does, see how I, it went. Yeah, but I saw the results, and I saw nothing you happen. Saw the, what do you mean you saw the results? You didn't see I any read, matches in contest. How many I times do we have to say, wa- watching results is... is, is I, it's not like I don't watch the show after we do this. I do watch the show, okay. and my opinions are confirmed. Okay, and... That, I, no, and I'm not saying it was a mind blowing, blowing raw or anything, but I don't it feel like it should a... have been. It's the raw after SummerSlam. It should. We used to look forward to the raw after pay per views. We used to look forward to these. This is where you start new storylines. The only thing that they started was John Cena coming to Raw and squishing people who might have a future. John, he's wrestling 2008 again. Baron Corbin's dead. No one knows when he's gonna do again. Like it's Bar- Baron Corbin is has been Bray Wyatted. <laughs> oh, That's not even a joke. That is true. That's Bra- not even a Bray joke. Bray Wyatt did not even show up tonight. Exactly my point. Exactly my point. Bray Wyatt is. Bray Wyatt and Baron Corbin just might as well form the anti Cena Nexus. Well, maybe maybe we'll get lucky and he'll uh, you know pop up in a cricket commercial or something. You're way too optimistic, Mark. <laughs> You're way too optimistic. 
Hey, Dolph Ziggler got more face time than anybody tonight because he's in the cricket commercials. Then that was the first time Dolph Ziggler's been seen on television in two months. I heard that. Well, I think I tweeted. By the way, I tweeted. By the way, Dolph Ziggler also got his career killed by John Cena. <laughs> Did he? Recently? Yeah. Not recently. But, you know, just in general. Like, Dolph Ziggler now is what Bray and Baron have to look forward to in five years. Oh. All right. Well, uh, obviously, none of uh, the half hour you watched and, and the two and a half hours you're going to watch is watchable to you here. Oh, right? no, no. Not, not in the – that Braun and Bray – that Braun and Brock segment sounds amazing. It sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. Because that they're only putting effort into Braun Strowman. Yeah, wait till you get to the Miss and Samoa Joe stuff. I think you'll be happy with that too. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the Miss is great. The Miss has been on fire. And also appreciated both Booker T and uh, Graves uh, uh, um, referencing I will, that they've uh, uh, referencing that they've uh, faced Samoa Joe in the past. Okay, but I will never appreciate Booker T. God, oh, come on. No, no, I'm sorry. Booker doesn't even watch the show he's commenting on. Anyways, well, I, I'm going with a uh, probably a solid two two fifteen watchable on tonight's Raw. If anybody's in the chat room there, or if you want to uh, let did, us know, did Cesaro fight a beach ball? No, Cesaro didn't watch. A, they they watched a monitor in the back. Oh, so the former tag team champions weren't even on the show in a given capacity? No, not really. Hmm, that's great. <laughs> so so we and we had a face versus face match. For the tag teams, when there are so many heel tag teams on Raw, you said the Hardys versus the Shield brethren, right? Yep. Yeah. So we couldn't have put the Club against the Shield brethren. We couldn't have done that. That'd be fun. Bullet Club versus Shield. I'd be in for that. Like, why did we have to waste the match with them and the Hardys? Is it just because we wanted the Hardys to be on a show where there are people in the audience? I think it is. It's almost like they didn't plan for any of this stuff. On that note, guys, let I, us know I what really you thought. I really enjoyed Takeover Sword. Everybody really that actually Takeover. watched Monday Night Raw, let us know what you uh, thought of it. Hit us up on the Facebook page and uh, also on the uh, uh, Twitter for at Mayhem Show. Uh, join and, and I will be live tweeting my, my viewing of Raw. On, on at Mayhem Show with the hashtag MM. Yep, check it so, out overnight or uh, look it up in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. All right, check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I'm at Sorgatron. He's at my Mike4883 on the Twitters, and we'll see you next time. Until next time, keep it 